That integration is super awesome. It's very exciting. OK. So how do we top that? Oop. By not going back, by going forward. And forward to Delta 4.0. So we just we have the branch cut. It's available. Delta 4.0 is the biggest change in Delta since history. It's jam-packed with new features and functionality. Um, things like coordinated commits, collations, all sorts of new functionality that make it easier to work with various different types of data sets. Uh, we won't have time to go through all of this, so I'm going to pick a couple and dive into why these are such amazing features. So liquid clustering is generally available now as part of Delta 4.0. And with liquid clustering, we really wanted to set out to solve this challenge that so many people have brought up. Partitioning, it's good for performance, but it's so complicated. You get over-partitioning, small files, you pick the wrong thing. It's a pain to resolve. And liquid solves this with a novel data layout strategy that's so easy to use that we hope all of you will say goodbye to partitions by. You never need to say that again when you define a table. Not only is it easy to use, we found out it is up to seven times faster for writes and 12x faster for reads. So the performance benefits are amazing. And of course, it's easy to evolve the schema, make changes, define anything without having to worry about all your data being rewritten in transforms. And you know, there are about 1,500 people, customers, actively using this. The adoption has been insane. Uh, over 1.2 zettabytes of data have been skipped. And you don't have to take my word for it. Even Shell, when they started using it for their time series workloads, saw over an order of magnitude improvement in performance. And it was just so easy to use. Next, open variant data type. And this one's really important. That first word, open, is really exciting. So what happens is now in this world of AI, you have more and more semi-structured text data, um, alternative data sources, all of this coming into the lake house. And we wanted to come up with a way to make it easier for people to store and work with these types of data in Delta. Um, and usually what happens is when you're stuck with semi-structured data, most of the data engineers, they sort of have to make a compromise. And you know, none of us like to make compromises. But usually it's about being open, flexible, or fast. And often, they'd only be able to pick two out of these three. So for example, for semi-structured data, one approach is just store everything as a string, right? That's open. It gives you tons of flexibility. But parsing strings is slow, right? Why would you store a number as a string and have to reread it every time? So of course, there's an option to pick the fields out of your semi-structured data, make them concrete types, and you get amazing performance, right? This is open, very fast to access. However, if you have sparse data, you sort of lose out on a lot of that flexibility to modify the schema. And you know, relational databases for a while have had special enum or variant data types, but all of those had always been proprietary. If you wanted to use them to get a balance of not having to store everything as a string and not having to shard out every single column, you got locked in. And so that's why we're very excited with variants to be able to kind of get that sweet spot in the middle. You can have your JSON data, store it with flexibility, fully open, with amazing performance, right? It's very easy to use. It works with even you know, complex JSON. Here's an example of the syntax. And we found, of course, it's eight times faster than storing your JSON data as raw strings. This is just tremendous. So if you're storing JSON in a string field today, um, go back to work or home and start using variants. It's available in uh, DVR 15.3. But most importantly, all of the code for variant is already checked in to Apache Spark. There's a common subdirectory in the 4.0 branch right now that has all of the implementation details for variants and all of the operators. And there is a binary format code definition and library that we've made available open source so all the other data engines can also use variants. We really want this to be an official open format that everyone adopts so that finally we have a non-proprietary way of storing semi-structured data reliably. And so with that, yeah, oh, it's a big deal. With that, I just want to summarize Delta Lake 4.0. It's interoperable. We have this amazing ecosystem with people like Hannes, 
working together, making it better and stronger. You get amazing performance benefits. And all of this is just so much easier to use now than it ever was before. Thank you.